I'm Paul and this is Forge Junkie. Today we're going to be revisiting the sander grinder that I bought on Amazon. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one and two on unpacking and putting together and then a summary of how the thing has been working, make sure you check out my first two videos about this grinder. So we're looking at uh, about six months of heavy use and the other day the inverter exploded on the grinder. I was working, grinding as always, and I saw a giant spark shoot out the side followed by quite a bit of smoke and a total failure of it working. The power transformer works fine. The inverter stopped. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the inverter and what to do if yours also goes bad. Side note, I think it was my fault that the grinder inverter went bad. I pulled it apart to see if there was any obvious thing that I could do to repair it. And when I pulled it apart, I was quite surprised just how much dust and uh, metal particles fell out of the thing. My guess is that it's been sucking dirt into the fan and that may have been what caused it to blow up. So I'm gonna show you the inverter that I purchased as a replacement. So here's the inverter that came with it. Uh, here is the one that I just purchased on Amazon to replace it. You can see they're very similar, but a little bit different. There are the specs on the side of this one. You can see this one, same specs, much nicer looking, and the new one comes with an instruction book written in English, which is nice because this came with absolutely nothing that told me anything about it, including what these different operational things do, if you can see them. No, you know, this has the same, but in English. Luckily, if you look, Everything lines up and is the same. There's a little access port that pops off just like that. And then you can get to the threaded screws that hold it all together. This one has the same And on this, again, they're all right there. It's also a panel that pops off the top, same thing, to access the wires. The new one has exactly the same, just pop that off. Access the wires. And again, there they come out the back. Go in the back. I'd like to make a suggestion that you photograph everything you're doing every step of the way. It's good to have a picture because if you take these off, 
and then you don't remember what color was what, you could be in trouble. Uh, definitely photograph everything. If you don't need it, you don't need it. If you need it, you'll have it. Trust me. I'm going to unplug the transformer box just to make sure, just to be safe. I'm going to loosen these, make sure these are loose. And now I'm going to loosen these. Pull these wires out and I'm going to put them right in the same spot. Snug them up nicely, and now these. There we go. A third, and I'm going to loosen these three. Okay, let's pop my little plates back on. <clears throat> so that was pretty simple <clears throat> to take the old wires off and put the new wires on. Now, if everything works correct, we should be able to turn on the power transformer and it should uh, activate the inverter and God willing, everything should work. Fans running, sounds good. Now, if everything runs right, this should uh, work. Tell you that little motor fan really uh, runs hard, and I can feel it sucks air in. So again, my suggestion is make sure that uh, you move this to a spot where it is going to get the least amount of dust in it. Because as I said, I'm pretty sure that's what fried the first one was the amount of stuff that got in. Luckily, it was an easy fix, a quick fix. I saw some people on Amazon make uh, comments that they had problems and they didn't know what to do. So I really hope this video helps everybody. Um, and uh, if you're having a problem, please feel free to message me or write me in the comments. Thank you again for watching. If you liked the video, click like, subscribe. I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos. You get to see some of the crazy stuff I've been making. And uh, thanks again.